Over this last decade, I've seen clients and people around me and even myself do some of the dumbest things that delay their path to financial freedom. And I don't want you to experience that. So that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. So make sure you watch this entire video. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. And today's video is seven things you should never do on your path to financial freedom. All right, let's jump in. So the first one is on your path to financial freedom, you should never cheat or cut corners. And I can't tell you how many times I've cut corners on my path that cost me and delayed me towards financial freedom. Now, if you don't know how to create financial freedom or even the different levels, you may want to go back and look at the video that I did around how to accelerate the four levels of financial freedom. Now, like I said, I cheated myself on this path. I cut corners on the path to financial freedom. I remember I had an opportunity to invest in a couple of real estate deals and I didn't really look at the numbers and I really wasn't interested, but it turned out to be an incredible cash flowing opportunity and I literally probably missed out on $1,500 a month in passive income because I just cut corners. I just kind of looked, I was looking at um, different metrics that I was I was kind of interested in and it just, I wasn't fully there. I missed it, I was cutting corners, I didn't go through my full due diligence and I missed it. And actually now it probably would be about $4,000 a month if I didn't cut corners. So don't cheat, don't cut corners because you never wanna do that, especially with business partners or investors or someone that's on your team, never cheat them out. It will really cost you. The second one is never take on bad debt. See, what happens with a lot of people is they start making more money, whether it's active or passive, and what they do is they start increasing their lifestyle. They start spending lavishly, going on these big trips, buying the nicest clothes, buying a bigger home, a newer car, when really the lifestyle you had was perfectly fine. So what they do is they go spend, they create more debt, and it delays their financial freedom, especially if they're increasing their monthly expenses, they're going to delay financial freedom unless they can accelerate the return that they're gonna get in passive income a lot faster than they're spending. I wouldn't recommend it. The third one is you should never lose focus on your path. When you're going to that next level of financial freedom, whatever it is for you, you gotta make sure you have a clear plan and a clear focus. Like how are you getting there? Now, I heard a story about how lions actually get tamed. The tamer, lion tamers, how they actually tame a lion is completely crazy. Now you think they walk in with a little bit of, they have some food, right? But they walk in with a whip and a stool, whether three or four legs, it doesn't really matter. Now, if they don't walk in and they just have a whip, you would think the whip would discipline that lion, but it doesn't. What actually, the lion, the reason why a lion attacks is because when he becomes singularly focused, he will attack. So they bring a stool in and they put a stool right in their face, right? And they can't decide which leg to focus in on to attack. And so they, they kind of just, they, they just stand still. They kind of get tamed, right? And so that's what happens with us. If you think you're going to go work on Bitcoin and you're going to go do real estate and you're going to do YouTube and you're going to go build an Amazon store. If you're trying to focus on all of that, you're going to get nothing done. You'll never create financial freedom. You have to stay focused on one thing and one thing only. Next is you should never blame others for your lack of success because what happens is you become a victim. We call that living at the effect of life and not at cause. The people who blame others and live at the effect, I've never seen them reach a level of success that they truly wanted by doing that. It's the ones who take responsibility, the ones who step up, they don't blame others, but they say, you know what, that was my bad, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna move forward, I'm gonna make things happen. The ones who are unsuccessful, who delay financial freedom, if they even get there, they blame other people. Don't allow your blaming or the situations that have happened to you to blame others for it. Step up, take responsibility, and move forward. For years, I would blame others for not having creating the success for me that I thought I was due. It wasn't until I took my own responsibility of my situation, regardless of everyone else I was helping or working with, and said, you know what, this is what I'm going to do and this is how I'm gonna make it happen. And when I took control back, when I started living at cause, 
everything changed and I started on the path to financial freedom. All right, number five is you cannot listen to other people. You cannot allow them to influence you on your path. If you know where you're going, and if you know how you're gonna get there, stay focused on that path and don't listen to people trying to influence you either way. See, I remember when I started coaching, I was actually doing home energy upgrade sales for a company with my buddy. And I was watching my friends make five, 10, 15, 25, $30,000 a month. And at that time I was broke. I was really broke and that money sounded good. And I remember making a $5,000 sale and I was like, yes, or $5,000 commission. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then I was like, I had this crossroad, right? This defining moment in my life because I could have kept going and making money like a lot of my friends were, or I could try this coaching thing where I could really make an impact, which I really enjoyed because I didn't like sales. And then I could actually create a lifestyle where I can work from anywhere in the world. And so ultimately I decided to go down the coaching path. And as I did that, I had a family member with their great intentions. They loved me. They were looking out for me, but they said, you know what? That coaching thing's great, but you don't really have benefits. You don't really have time off, like your two or three weeks a year vacation. Because if you're doing active income, at least in your own business, like coaching, you have to do it in order to earn, right? And so their intentions were pure. I, I love what they were thinking, but if I would have listened to them and went and got a job and it got my three weeks, two to three weeks, two really, um, three if you're lucky, but three weeks vacation and my benefits, I never would be on this path to financial freedom like I have now. And so I had to stop and not listen to a loved one who was actually very concerned and their heart was pure. But if I would have listened to them, I wouldn't be where I am today. So don't allow others to influence you. If you know which way you're going and you know how you're gonna do it, stay focused there. Number six, this is a big one and I've seen it play out over the years with clients and that is you cannot burn bridges. Yes, if you wanna be on the path to financial freedom, you never know who you could do business with, who you might need on your team that could take over because they're a rock star. But if you burn a bridge on your path, you might meet them somewhere down the line or that company down the line. And it's gonna determine your next stage of success and if you burn that bridge they're probably not gonna do it for you they're probably not gonna work for you they're probably not gonna stay with you so don't burn bridges on your path because I can see how and I've seen it through clients how it delayed them the success that they're looking for. and number seven you have to know your numbers and the risk involved and as I told you in the beginning of this video that I didn't, I cut the corners. Like I didn't look at my numbers and the numbers and do my due diligence. If I would have, I probably would have invested in, like I said, it'd probably be worth about $4,000 a month cash flow today, which I didn't know the numbers, right? But on this path to financial freedom, you always want to know your numbers. You cannot not know your numbers and not know the risk involved, right? I see it all the time. People are like, yeah, let me put up, a, you know, I'm going to put up $100,000 and in turn, I'm going to make $100 a month passively. That risk that you're taking on doesn't match the return that you could get. So if you're looking to accelerate financial freedom, if you're looking to get there, never negate the opportunity to look and know your numbers and manage your risk and know the risks that's involved. All right, so these are the seven things you must never do. Are there more? Yes. Are these the common patterns I've seen in my life and with like clients around the world and over this last decade plus? Yes. So I wanted to give you the top seven that I've seen as a common pattern throughout people's path to financial freedom so that you never do it. And so you can live the lifestyle. You can have the freedom and the fun that you want and the lifestyle that you want to live as you move forward in your life. All right, guys, if that was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you comment below. What are one of the, th one of the seven things that you're doing to delay financial freedom that you know you need to stop? I'd love to know in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you know every time a video comes out so you can stay up to date on all the great content that we're providing here at Master Life by Design for you. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.